What's up guys, today I'm going to be telling you about Steam Idol Master and how to fix all of the problems you may be having with it, uh, as well as if you're new to it, how to install it and what it can actually do. So what is uh, Steam Idol Master? Well, basically it allows you to get uh, the Steam trading cards for each game without actually having to play the game for hours and hours on end. Uh, so a very important thing to mention is how it actually works. So basically what it does is it uh, it pretends to Steam that you're playing the game. You don't even have to have it installed or anything. You literally, it just pretends to run the game. This also happens to mean that uh, VAC, VAC banned games. So if you've been banned in a game, uh, that still works. You can still get the trading cards as well as not actually getting banned because the cheat engine of the game. So for example, VAC isn't actually running because the game is, doesn't even have to be installed and it's not actually running. So. Uh, how do you install the game and what do you do if you've already have it installed? So if you already have the game installed, uh, the, the program installed, then you just have to delete it and, and then you have to go to this website. It's linked in the description below. And what you'll happen is you'll end up on this page. All you have to do is click on releases over here and then find where it says direct download. You click that and what will happen is you'll download, um, this zip file. You right click, extract all, and you'll get a bunch of folders. And these are the eight files that you really need. So the, there are two exe files here, steamidle.exe and idlemaster.exe. The one you want to open is idlemaster.exe. This should open something like this, uh, exactly like this. It should say steam running if you have steam running. If you don't, just open it. Uh, and then it says Steam Idol Master is not connected to Steam. So one really new thing about it is when you click sign in, as you can see over here, it says attempting quick login. Simply this means it's going to try to log you in if you've already been logged in on steamcommunity.com using your cookies. This is completely safe. I've been doing it and everything is working fine. It's really efficient and I like it. However, if you don't like this, you can quite simply go into settings and then just uncheck quick login. and you can simply type in your username and password just like you normally would with the Steam uh, Steam Guard as necessary. Um, one issue might one issue you might run into is that if you have parental controls, uh, you won't be able to idle the games. So all you have to do for that is click Settings, click this lock icon right here, and enter your Steam Parental code right where here where it says Steam Parental, and then click Update, and everything should work. Uh, so. Now that you've installed it, uh, you've been running it for a bit, you might run into some issues. Uh, one really common issue is it says idle complete. As you can see on screen right now in the screenshot, it simply says idle complete even though you may have some games. So the first thing you have to do to check to solve this problem is, first of all, you have to go to this page, steamcommunity.com slash ID slash your username and not in the inventory, but the badge page. You can get to this badge page either by typing in slash uh, badges over here, like so, or by clicking the badge right here. And then uh, you will see a bunch of your games along with the trading cards. So as you can see here, the, the thing that matters uh, with idle complete is whether or not you have any card drops remaining. If it says no card drops remaining, that means uh, you cannot actually get any more card drops. And if this is true for all of your games, as you can see here, a bunch of these games have no card drops remaining. If it's true for all of your games, then you cannot idle anything else and you'll either have to spend money in a free to play game or buy a new game. However, if you scroll down and you happen to see two card drops remaining, three card drops remaining, however many card drops remaining, and it still says idle and complete, uh, then what you have to do is there's a very simple fix for this. You simply go here, you click sign out, and you click sign in again. Sign out, sign in, and everything should work again. If, however, you cannot uh, log in, it doesn't let you log in, the first step is obviously to just reinstart and reinstall this program. Uh, this is very easy to do. As you see, it takes 10 seconds to install the, install the program. If this is still not working, what you need is um, you have to have a custom ID. As you can see here, it says ID and then T underscore the beast. And this is not the default. In default, you'll have some random characters and such. So in order to set this up, you go to your profile page, you click edit profile, then you scroll down to where it says custom URL, and then you simply type in something over here. 
and in most cases this will fix the problem. However, if it's still not working and you still have trouble logging into your logging into the Steam account or just any problems with uh, Idle Master, what you can do is simply type in app data right here, percentage app data percentage, and this folder. This will open this folder, and you'll end up in app data roaming. However, you don't want this, so you have to click on this small arrow right here. You click up, and then you find local. You click on local, and then you find Idle Master right here and simply delete everything in this folder in, in this folder if you delete everything it should practically reset uh, reset the, the program and you should be able to log in easily another common issue that people have is that it takes two hours or more than two hours to get their first card drop or they have the program installed and nothing is dropping and you've checked that you have the card drops remaining and that doesn't seem to be an issue. In that case, it might be that you don't have enough playtime on each of the programs. As you can see here, it says hours. So uh, 12 is better than 6 has either been idled or played for 0 0.4 hours. However, due to some new um, uh, system that uh, Valve has implemented, you cannot actually get card drops within the first uh, two hours of a game because otherwise you could refund it. And the, there have been... Uh, there have been people who have been buying games, idling them for their um, for their trading cards, and then refunding the game to try and make a quick profit. So Valve has done something to stop this, and they implemented a simple fix. Basically, you have to have played a game for two hours at least. This does add a lot of hassle to the to the idling process. However, it does prevent a lot of fraud. So there's nothing really you can do about it other than to open your game and play it, or to just leave it idling for two hours, and then after a while, it should. It should start working again. Uh, some other common questions that people have been asking uh, in the previous video that I made uh, is: firstly, can you actually do use family sharing when you're um, when you're idling the games? And the answer is no, because you don't actually own the game. If you own the game, you can idle it. Otherwise, you can't. And it doesn't matter if you've installed it or not, because <clears throat> your Steam account is what matters, and your badge page, and not and not actually um, having having the game uh, installed because as I mentioned at the beginning of the video uh, the idle master program doesn't actually install the game or need any files of the game to exist <clears throat> and then uh, the final question is can you use idle master with free to play games and yes you can however you have to spend at least ten dollars in the game in order for it to be in order to have the chance to drop for it to have the chance to drop trading cards so if you just have, uh, for example, TF2, if you've just been playing it and you haven't actually spent any money, uh, you won't be able to idle it. However, once you've spent $10, you'll be able to get, I believe, uh, four or to six trading cards. And then if you, if you spend another $10, it resets again and again. And each time you spend a bit more money, you can get more trading cards. Uh, that's simply just how capitalism works. People try to make money. So... There's not much you can do about that other than spending more money, I suppose. If you have any other questions, feel free to comment them below. I'll try to answer them with as much detail as necessary. And other than that, that's pretty much it. I, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please leave a like. Like this video if you, if you found this helpful. And subscribe for more tutorials for Steam, some gameplay, and other such videos. See you next time.